Today, members of the Wildland Firefighter Foundation here in Boise honored their Arizona brothers with a very special gift. Jennifer Odd joins us live in studio to explain. That's right, Eric. It's a statue that stands at almost 10 feet tall at the Boise Airport. Wildland Firefighter Foundation leaders say they want to be there for the fallen firefighters in Prescott, and this is their way of showing their respect and honor. The statue weighs more than a thousand pounds, but after some maneuvering and extra help, the Wildland Firefighter Foundation was able to lift it from its base at the Boise Airport, where it's been for 10 years now. The most beautiful thing was when I saw it being pulled up off the sand and it was rising up into the sun. The statue representing Granite Mountain looked like they were going to the light, enough to, to break hearts all over again. The foundation is moving the statue to Arizona to honor the 19 firefighters who died fighting the Yarnell Hill fire. All were members of the Granite Mountain Hotshots crew. We talked to a foundation member who can relate to that loss, as she also used to be a wildland firefighter herself. I lost my good friend Ron Chambliss um, last year on June 3rd, and on uh, two years ago today we lost Caleb Ham in Texas, and he was a good friend of mine too. So it's been, a really, it's been a really rough. Foundation leaders are flying with the statue to a memorial service in Prescott that will take place on Tuesday. Vice President Biden and the families of the fallen firefighters will also be there to honor the 19 lives lost. We funded the statue and I actually installed it there. So me and the statue are pretty close and I'm glad to be on the plane with it going to Arizona. It will be a procession more than hundreds of miles long. On the return flight on Wednesday, uh, we will have the remains of the firefighters. After the memorial, the pilots will bring the bodies of the 19 fallen firefighters back to their hometowns. I was thinking about them and what they're going through and how much of a loss this is to the wildland fire community. And right now, the Yarnell Hill fire is 8,000 acres, forcing residents from several communities nearby to evacuate their homes. Fire investigators believe lightning sparked that blaze. Live in the studio, I'm Jennifer Ah. Today, six on your side.